more than a week, volunteers searched. It doesn't matter how long we're gone, as long as they're found safe and sound or found. Looking for 62-year-old Nunavut MLA Policy Kayutek, his 16-year-old son and 47-year-old nephew. Canadian Forces aircraft were called in from Halifax to help. At some point during their journey, bad weather rolled in. They became lost, stopped in a cabin, then set out again. After two days, they realized their GPS wasn't working. Disoriented and running low on fuel, the three of them stopped. They built an igloo that didn't hold up to the elements, so they relocated near a hill and built another one and waited, all the while a wolf circling them. I was mostly worried about if one of us was to freeze to death first, how would the others react? I was really worried about what would happen if someone was to freeze. There was just this, there they are, um, I think I see something. Glenn Williams was one of the spotters in a small plane looking for the group. As we turned around in the valley to come back again to have a look, we could see one person standing on top of the hill and he was waving at us and he had five gallons in each hand and he was waving back and forth at us. I saw the plane fly out of the clouds right directly at me. I waved as hard as I possibly could and I knew without a doubt that I was found. At that moment, I began crying. The rescue wasn't entirely smooth. The plane broke a ski on landing and a military helicopter had to be called in. A small delay that the missing men didn't mind. They were just grateful to be alive. Glad you're okay. John Van Dusen, CBC News, Iqaluit.